Hello YouTube and fellow Star Wars collectors! On this episode of Toys Are The Way, we will be taking a look at my favorite vintage collection figure of 2022. If you're new to the channel or a fan of Star Wars collecting, be sure to smash a like on this video, remember to subscribe, and make sure to ring that bell to stay notified. 2022 was certainly a decent year that delivered some amazing figures in the vintage collection, and as you can see, there are quite a number of characters that have found a home within my collection. We have figures from recent media such as the Kenobi series and a plethora of different troopers allowing us to army build our collections. Additionally, we saw repaints of characters from the Clone Wars which gave many collectors a chance to add certain Jedi and troops to their collection. We also continued to see figures in the Gaming Greats line and finally completed Antok Merrick's X-Wing by adding his astromech droid. So all in all, there were a number of amazing offerings this year, and when you take a step back to admire everything, it's rather impressive, but not everything was perfect. While there are quite a few characters displayed here, there is a lack of 100% newly tooled from the ground up releases, and that is something I want to see more of in 2023. Many of the figures here are repaint variants or partially tooled new offerings, which is great. I support creative use of assets, but in order to stay on top of all the new Star Wars content and characters coming our way, Hasbro will need to do better. The six figures that stand before you are the 100% newly tooled characters received in the Vintage Collection this year, which is covered by the Kenobi series, the Book of Boba Fett, and the Mandalorian. Sadly, our Andor figures don't look like they'll be arriving by the end of the year, which could have bumped up the number to a total of eight which is still not enough in my opinion. The number of newly tooled figures that were produced for the Andor and Kenobi series in the larger 6 inch scale is without a doubt frustrating. Moving forward, I would like to see Hasbro do a better job at increasing the budget for new tooling in the vintage collection. There is no reason that collectors of either scale should not be getting a similar amount of figures and adding brand new characters to their collections. While we didn't see a Gungan-sized army of newly tooled figures this year, we did get some partially tooled offerings that really added to the overall quality of the year. Figures like Ahsoka Corvus, who shared the same above-the-knee tooling that was used to get Morak Boba Fett into the line, is a prime example of creative tooling and a good use of the budget. Additionally, the Clone Wars Mandalorian figures who sprouted from the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett and the Death Watch Mandalorian, but with new legs, blasters, and helmets really allowed us to world build and add more characters from Season 7 of the Clone Wars to our collection. Creative tooling like this is the way. Hopefully, if the budget and tooling library increases moving forward, we can see an increase in high quality figures and character offerings in a single year. I think the upcoming year will be good, but I can't say with confidence that I believe we will see an increase in newly tooled figures, but hopefully I am wrong. Collections are built on hope, so remember, be vocal, constructive, and make Hasbro aware of our needs in the vintage collection. First up, we have my favorite trooper of the year, and it is the Heavy Assault Stormtrooper from Jedi Fallen Order, simply because of the rocker ankles and amazing accessories included but it would be a crime not to give credit to the nearly perfect Episode 4 Stormtrooper that we have all been waiting for. If Hasbro opted to include the new style barbell hips on this figure, then it would be complete. Next up, we have my favorite repaint of the year, the Umbra Operative Arc Trooper from Battlefront 2. A really cool design, and it's great to see some more gaming figures in the vintage collection. Moving on, we have my favorite partial tool of the year, and it is the Mandalorian Death Watch Airborne Trooper from The Clone Wars. This one is probably not a surprise to fans of the channel, considering I picked up 40 of this Clone Wars character and his rivals to recreate an epic Siege of Mandalore display in my collection room. The figure itself is a work of art, wonderfully painted, fully articulated, and also opens the door to hopefully one day see an updated Jango Fett in the vintage collection. New figures are hard to rank because they're all so amazing in their own ways, but of course I had to narrow it down somehow. In 6th place we have Reva, the second sister, followed by the wandering Jedi, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Both are excellent, fully articulated figures from new media who carried a number of accessories. Next up in 4th place we have Fennec Shan from The Book of Boba Fett, a super cool figure and character that I really enjoyed adding to the collection. And in 3rd place we have her boss, and the new daimyo of Tatooine, the deluxe Boba Fett from The Book of Boba Fett a remarkable figure with excellent features that really grew on me once in hand. And just as I was filming this video, my deluxe dark troopers have arrived. As I mentioned in my review of the rescue set, this figure is an impressive display of engineering. Fully loaded with an arsenal of modern articulation, it is everything you want to see in a newly tooled figure and definitely worthy of second place. 
And lastly, we have the winner, the chosen one, my favorite vintage collection figure of 2022, Darth Vader, The Dark Times from the Kenobi series. A simply remarkable figure and much needed upgrade in the vintage collection. While we have seen this character many times before, it has never been done in such a definitive way. I personally have been wanting to see updates and releases of the main characters from Episode 4 A New Hope, and this Vader helps restore my faith and desire for such offerings. This all new from the ground up Vader has everything the Chosen One should have when it comes to articulation. Armed with extra hand expressions, hinges at the wrist, ball jointed knees, elbows, hips, shoulders, and rocker ankles, this Darth Vader will have no problem ruling the galaxy. I hope you've enjoyed this video and taking a look at my favorite vintage collection figure of 2022. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments down below and be sure to list your top three figures of the year. And don't forget to smash a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really helps and is greatly appreciated. Thanks everyone and may the force be with you.